Hey everybody, we're taking a look at Colt Express, which is coming on Monday, November 28th. And so let's take a look at this digital version. In Colt Express, you select one of six uh, bandits to play as they all have special abilities. And your goal is to, through a programmed movement mechanic, you lay out what you want to do. Your goal is to move around the train, grabbing loot, fighting your fellow bandits, and trying to end up with the most loot at the end of five rounds. Uh, once you program your moves and those are carried out in the stealing phase, where you see uh, everything that you programmed as well as your opponents and hope that what you did keeps you pretty safe. Uh, so you're trying to avoid uh, being affected by your opponents while managing to grab as much as you can uh, while you're on the train and avoiding the marshal, which can uh, remove loot from you as well as your fellow bandits, which can punch you as in this case and make you drop loot. So the goal is to then end up with the most loot at the end of the game and the player with the most is the winner. The game features a story mode where you can play through stories of all of the characters. These feature uh, special comic book segments which give you a little background on those characters. They don't particularly apply to what you're actually playing, but they're like little other side stories about the characters. Um, these different chapters can have different game rules, such as uh, new items, new little mechanics that you're trying to do, secondary goals besides just getting the most loot. So very interesting and definitely adds some longevity. Apart from what I've mentioned here, the game does have online play as well as a pass and play and AI play. So there's definitely uh, all the modes you're expecting featured here. Um, again, it does feature this cool graphical style, which really breathes some life into the game, I think, while it's kind of staying true to the board game at the same time. I've been playing Cold Express for a little while now in the beta period. And I have to admit that early on, I was a little uh, on the fence about the game not necessarily the presentation, I think it's really well done. Uh, I think there's a lot going on, a lot of good information here. Uh, but just the game itself, I wasn't sure it was something I liked enough to want to play often in a digital version. But after spending some more time with the game, I think the digital version really opens it up. And if you're a fan of the game, there's going to be a lot of content here to explore. So definitely look forward to this one coming on Monday.